Hello children, hope so you all are doing well. Today I am back with the part 2 of transitive and intransitive verbs. Okay, in our previous video we had learned about transitive verbs. So today before learning intransitive verbs let us quickly recapitulate transitive verbs. Okay, now quickly answer my questions. What are transitive verbs? Transitive verbs need an object to convey the meaning. And now answer me how to find whether there is an object or not by asking the questions what and whom. And if we get answer for either what or whom, then yes, there is an object in the sentence. Very good. Now let us learn about intransitive verbs. Here the example is it rained heavily. We can clearly understand here that we don't get any answer for the questions what and whom, isn't it? What did it rain? No answer. Whom did it rain? No answer. Even the questions don't make any sense, isn't it? So, here clearly we can say that there is no object in this sentence. But can you observe this children? Even though there is no object, here the meaning of the sentence is complete, isn't it? Let us understand this clearly, okay? The example here is, it rained heavily. Okay, here in this sentence, we don't get answer for the questions what and whom. Okay, but still the meaning of the sentence is complete without an object. Okay, and such verbs are called as intransitive verbs. Okay, now let us understand about intransitive verbs clearly. Okay, what is an intransitive verb? A verb in a sentence which indicates complete action by itself without any object. Listen carefully. A verb in a sentence that indicates complete action by itself without any object is called an intransitive verb. Remember children, intransitive verb does not require any object to convey the meaning. Okay, let us see examples. John goes to school. Here you can easily understand that we don't get any answer either for what or whom. But still... The meaning of the sentence is complete, isn't it? So here the verb goes in this sentence is an intransitive verb. Okay, now let us see one more example. The baby smiled. The baby smiled. So here even in this sentence, we don't get answer for the questions what or whom. It means there is no object. Even though there is no object, the sentence, the meaning of the sentence is complete. So here in this sentence, the verb smiled is an intransitive verb. Isn't it? So let me quickly Repeat. Okay. Transitive verbs need an object to convey the meaning. But intransitive verbs do not need any object to convey the meaning. Okay. Good. Now, let us test our understanding. Okay. So, here in the following sentences, say whether the verbs underlined are transitive or intransitive. Okay, here is your first sentence. She moved aside. Here, 
the underlined word moved is a verb isn't it now let us check whether there is an object or not okay what did she move no answer whom did she move no answer no answer means no object no object but still the meaning of the sentence is complete it means here in this sentence the verb moved is an intransitive verb very good very good now let us see one more example mother was serving soup now first what should we do let us check whether there is an object or not okay what was mother serving mother was serving soup let us ask the question once again what was mother serving soup here you got an answer isn't it so here in this sentence the word soup is an object and then when you got an answer it means there is an object and when there is an object in the sentence it means the verb in that sentence is a transitive verb so here in the sentence mother was serving soup the verb serving is a transitive verb isn't it very good now let us see one more example i always sing in the shower what do i always sing no answer whom do i always sing no answer no answer means no object no object but still the meaning of the sentence is complete so here in this sentence the verb sing is an intransitive verb okay here is your next sentence willy wonka invited the bearer of the ticket to visit his factory now let us ask the questions to find out whether there is an object or not what did willy wonka invite no answer whom did willy wonka invite the bearer of the ticket yes you got an answer you got an answer it means yes there is an object in the sentence when you have an object in the sentence then the verb in that sentence is a transitive verb so here in this sentence the verb invited is a transitive verb very good mr bucket collapsed into the chair let us quickly find out whether there is an object or not okay what did mr bucket collapse no answer whom did mr bucket collapse no answer no answer no object but still the meaning of the sentence is complete so here in this sentence the verb collapsed is an intransitive verb very good so kids hope so you all understood the topic well we shall meet in the next class till then stay home stay safe